Johnson, Stoyan Koprovinsky, the rematch, four versus five. This is a tantalizing matchup, ladies and gentlemen. They're both in their prime, Johnson and Koprovinsky, five foot 11, but it'll be the Bulgarian who has a three and a half inch reach advantage. Professional experience, huge edge for Josh Johnson. 40 fights, half of those coming by way of knockout. But Koprovinsky, very dangerous with his kicks. 45% KO ratio. Look at the glory career numbers. 16 fights for Johnson and glory. Stoyan with seven. Knockdown ratio, Josh Johnson. He knocks you down, but he'll he'll go down himself, but he always gets back up. As for Koprovinsky, he's never been to the campus. Now, my keys to glory for this bout for Josh Johnson. He's got to adapt. He's got to use his distance control, his movement. He's got to attack with level changes, mix his boxing, and add his, you know, his low kicks. And in the first fight, he was really successful with those jabs and low kicks. So he needs to continue it. Koprovinsky needs to be a little bit adaptable. Last time, he pressured a lot. This time, he might have to change it up, mix his strikes, and bring in a lot of volume and really look for his counter punches. These two world-class lightweights are scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on our left and fighting out of the black corner. He is a contender tournament champion who brings a professional record of 11 wins with just three losses. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at 154.1 pounds, 69.9 kilograms. 黑方选手，年龄二十五岁，身高一米八零，体重六十九点九公斤，职业战绩十一胜三负，五次 KO 对手 ，Glory 战绩四胜三负，轻量级排名第五，来自保加利亚。女士们、先生们，掌声送给狙击手 Stoya Kovarevsky。Fighting out of Bulgaria, here is Stoya, the sniper, Kovarevsky. His opponent fighting out of the wide corner, a two-time fight of the night winner. Debuted all the way back in Glory 16 in Denver. As a professional, 30 wins with 10 losses. Half of those wins coming by way of knockout. He too stands, 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, and he weighed in at 153.4 pounds, 69.6 kilograms. 白方选手，年龄二十六岁，身高一米八零，体重六十九点六公斤，职业战绩三十胜十负，十五次 KO 对手。目前在 Glory 战绩九胜七负，五次 KO 对手，轻量级排名第四。女士们、先生们，掌声送给来自加拿大 Josh Chowsi。He fights out of Vancouver, Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Josh, the Nightcrawler, Chowsi. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee, Zhong Hong Yi. No elbow, no cringe. Listen to me, okay? Joe, who do you give the edge to in this rematch? Well, I mean, it's it's tough to, to call, but I gotta say, Chad. Josh Johnson. Chad. I mean, Chad. having won the Can't first fight. Really? His a little Fun. bit more activity we've seen lately. But Copper Linsky, like I keep saying, always improving. The first fight was a split decision win for the Canadian, Josh Johnson, who's wearing the white gloves, Koprovinsky in the black. Yep. First fight, you know, Koprovinsky did well with his pressure, kept coming forward where Johnson used his jab and his low kicks. And it seems like tonight he's attacking the Cavs. Johnson, born in London, England, moved to Vancouver, Canada at three years old with his family. His father set up the World Kickboxing Academy gym. His father was a great kickboxer in his own right. His father, Vince, in his corner along with his brother, Jay. Kovarevsky with the pressure. Johnson moving, trying to chop the legs. How similar are their styles? Well, I mean, I think they're they're great because they can both kick and box really well. And I mean, that's why it's a, a fun fight. They both know how to use great distance control. Mix their strikes well. They both like to attack in combinations. 
That's what made that first fight so exciting. Stoyan trying to check the kick there. A lot of fighters choose to not even check kicks anymore, Joe. They'll just eat them. Not always the best strategy. Depends who you're fighting. Right hand lands there for Johnsy. Yeah, but Johnsy's low kicks are all below the knee. He likes that calf kick. Good counter and combination work there from Stoyan. Fight! There's the corner of Koprovinsky. Normally, Big Mike Passenger is in the corner, but not tonight. Carl Pravlinski now doing a good job at reading John C's low kicks and just slipping out of the way and then countering. John C very, very familiar with the Asian culture. When he was younger, Joe, he trained and fought in Thailand. As soon as he could, he became a plumber, raised money, and went and trained over in Holland. He's done everything he could possibly do to be prepared and ready for the professional fight scene. Ed Koprovinsky from Bulgaria. He ended up going to Mike's gym, so both guys have experience training in Holland. Johnson back to that low calf kick, trying to go upstairs, changing levels. Close round one, as we expected. Nicknamed the Nightcrawler. Someone said he looked like the the comic book character, and he loved it. He's been training since the age of nine. I mentioned his father and brother are in his corner, as always. They are Team Johnsey, WKX. We have Stoyan Koprovinsky, right now ranked number five in the lightweight division, nicknamed the Sniper. Former lightweight contender winner, having a, a final fight there with Tijani Bastati. And outside the ring holds a Marine Navigator's license. But right now it's all kickboxing for Koprovinsky. Yeah, said he wanted to drive one of those or steer one of those giant big barges to go, go down the, the rivers of the Mississippi. To each their own, right? Yeah. I wanted to be a rock star. Instead, I'm sitting next to one. There you go. You told me you wanted to be a commentator as a kid. That too. It was a close second. I'd rather be Axel Rose, but yeah. I'll settle for Todd Grisham. Look at Koplovinsky. Yeah, I don't know about that. Johnson only landed five strikes. No, I don't know about that. Something's wrong. Yeah. But definitely a close fight. I mean, I mean, that beginning of that first round, John C. definitely had the edge, but Koprovlinski started to catch his distance and his rhythm, started picking it up. Good combination there for the Bulgarian, nicknamed the Sniper. Just looking at the size of Koprovlinski's calves. Jeez. Monsters. They look like they're swollen up. <laughs> Maybe Johnsy's kicked them that big. I don't know, but they're huge. Look like Manny Pacquiao's. You ever seen his calves? No. Nice spinning attack there for Johnsy. Johnsy trying to pivot away from the kicks of Koprovinsky. Nice left hook there. Oh, nice low kick, and that sends Koprovinsky down. It's not considered a knockdown, though but a perfectly timed left kick. Yep, John C. had a nice knockdown in his last fight where he kind of swept the inside leg out and mixed the knee up the middle. The spinning back fist wasn't there, but a nice follow for Koprovinsky to score. Yeah, good low kick there from Koprovinsky. Mixing it really well. Some, some people prefer brawls, others technical battles, and this is certainly the latter. High level stuff. Oh, a high kick. 
They won't Fight. score that a knockdown. It was close. Not a lot of damage done. Or not enough damage done, I should say, for a knockdown. Johnson 30 and 10 overall. 15 KOs. Koprovinsky 30 and 10. John C. His brother Jay saying, don't stand around, move. Looks like a better round for Stoyan and two. Quick round, 10 seconds to go. Now with Stoyan really looking to attack the legs. John C. Oh, seemed to slow down with the Good the left uppercut by Koprovinsky right before the bell. It is almost here, ladies and gentlemen. Two weeks, 14 days away. Rico versus Potter for the heavyweight championship of the world. Unfinished business from Arnhem, the Netherlands. You can see some of the highlights here. A lot of head movement from John C. As Stoyan's punching kicks the lead leg out of Koprovlinski. Trying to mix levels with that kick. Showed some power off balance, Stoyan. <laughs> this corner trying to wake him up. Could come down to I'll this third what, round. Sometimes those corner guys get real brave with those <laughs> little slaps and points, don't they? I, personally, I wouldn't like it. But maybe that got me mad and maybe I'd fight a little bit more aggressive. Who knows? I'll try it next time I see you. No, I'm good. It won't end well for you, that's for sure. <laughs> fight! All right, third round, and it feels like it's anybody's fight at this point. Who do you give the edge to? Well, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going one round apiece. I mean, I felt John C. just did enough with those calf kicks and effective movement in one, and Stoyan seemed to kind of be a little bit more busy in that second, so it's going to be up to this third round in my eyes. Usually there's a point in the fight where John C. laughs for a little while. Ooh. Reconnects or gets hit, actually. I'm waiting for that to come. Looks like blood coming out of his nose right now, though. Yeah, in the, in the second round, John C. wasn't low kicking, and now the corner must have told him, you got to start going back to those low kicks. Not many people enjoy fighting more than Josh Johnson. He, he'd fight six, seven times a year if he could. 2.12 to go. Good push kick there from John C. That inside low kick for John C. Trying to slow down the boxing of Koprovlinski with those kicks. Both of these guys getting tagged with low kicks. Imagine if you're John C. or Koprovinsky for that matter, but more so John C. And you got to sit on a plane as the mouthpiece comes out. You got to sit on a plane for 22 hours with those legs banged up. They've done it before. But it feels better going home with those swollen legs when you won. That's for sure. There's the go. moment. There we go. I knew it would you come. Got it. You got it. As if on cue. Stoyan now feeling a sense of urgency, perhaps. These guys could fight 20 rounds, and there wouldn't be much distance between them. Yeah, this is almost the fight I'd like five rounds of. You know, it's because I think it's the later rounds where these guys can get more effective. You can really see who can start dominating. Nice right hand for Johnsy. Kalfarvinsky answers with a low kick. Ooh. Front kick there for Johnsy. Yeah, he's, he's getting more comfortable with the kick fighting. You see him chopping away, now blocking the kicks of Kalfarvinsky. Question mark kick just misses for the Canadian. It seems to be the kick fighting is the difference in this round. Kopravinsky coming off a win over Muhammad Jiraiya. That fight was stopped because of a cut. It was a great battle there in the third round. Kopravinsky brings, brings the heat. John C. winning the visual battle here in the third round. Yeah, it's the kick fighting. Cam is asked to be a little slippery. Everyone keeps falling down. Kopravinsky made theirs. Oh, gave he it gets back. his own little front yeah. kick down. Fight. Gave it back. Ooh. 
Oy. Oh, you could hear the corner call yeah. for the Rolling Thunder. I thought he was saying watch out for the Rolling Thunder. Either way, another very close battle between Josh Johnson and Stoyan Popkravinsky. Yeah, great fight like we expected. Very technical. And just like the first one, it's a tough one to call, but you got to think Josh Johnson maybe in that third round may have just done enough. We'll find out the decision when we return. We welcome you back here to Shenzhen, and here are the highlights from this highly competitive affair. Yeah, highly, you know, technical as well. You know, both guys mixing their strikes really well, punch to kicks. You know, Stoyan coming, trying to mix the spinning back fist. Johnson using good movement. But as one threw a good combination, the other one always had a nice answer back. In the second round, we saw Kopravinsky seem to get a little bit more comfortable, try to find his boxing, his pressuring coming over, but Johnson using that inside low kick to try to take the punching of power away from Kopravlinski. Round three, Johnson decided to kick fight a little bit more. Kept a high guard, kind of chopped away. Mixed up different types of kicking styles from low kicks to question mark kicks. Getting his head just off center line. You know, this game, when it's that technical against two high level guys, it's, you know, it's a battle of inches. Here are the statistics, and maybe it's just me. These look way off for Josh Johnson, but maybe I'm wrong. 48 of 103 seems off. 90 of 218 for Stoyan Kopravinsky. Let's hear the decision now from Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. They give us back a split decision. They score this bout 29-28, Johnson. 30-27, Korporovlenski. And our three remaining judges also have it 29-28. 经过三位裁判一致判定, 28比29在黑方, 30比27在白方, 另外三位裁判给出 28比29. Your winner by split decision. Josh Johnson! I'm here with your winner, Josh Johnson. Taking a few deep breaths there. What was your feeling when you heard that scorecard? Yeah, I figured it would be close. It felt like a close fight. Um, I wasn't sure how they would score it. It went, you know, that, that, that made sense. Uh, I don't know about the 30-27 for him. You know, 29-28, uh, I thought that was fair. Um, but that's 2-0 and o against him. And uh, I'm lucky that, you know, he, he's a great fighter. Um, but I've done it twice. This was a rematch. Did anything surprise you in this fight? And tell me how your performance was. Uh, no, not too much surprised me. Uh, he was similar to last time, except he couldn't throw quite as many flashy things because the ring was really slippery this time. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, the ring was really slippery this time, so I noticed he couldn't do as many flashy things. I couldn't do quite as many high kicks, but I still kind of made it work anyways. The lightweight world titles on the line, I'm sure you're watching closely. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely look pretty close on that. Um, you know, either way that it goes, I'm excited for it. Um, if Gashi wins it, you know I won that. You know I would like to get revenge against him. And for the title, it would be a double whammy for me. But if Mara gets it, hey, Mara gets it, and then I got him too. Uh, Shenzhen, let's hear it for your winner, Josh Johnson.